In this video, we're gonna be talking about Helium 10 and Amazon product research and finding that right product to start selling on Amazon, as well as how you can actually get on that first page of Amazon. Getting on that first page of Amazon is probably one of the most important factors that people overlook after doing all this product research and selling on Amazon because, because everybody wants to get on that first page of Amazon. Nobody wants to be on the second, third page, fourth page. You're not going to get any sales. And this is how I was able to grow my Amazon business. So if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to this content, which is always free for you guys and helps you guys out as much as possible. This is how I was able to grow my Amazon business year by year. And as of last year, I've made over a million dollars in sales selling on Amazon. And I teach you guys step-by-step step of how to do the same exact thing. So let's get started. So we have here right in front of me helium 10 it's the software that i use to scale my amazon business and how you can do the same exact thing i really really recommend you to get helium 10 if you don't have helium 10 make sure you use the link down below it's going to be in the pinned comments or in the description it's going to give you a discount code that way it's cheaper for you and this tool really helped me scale my amazon business so as of yesterday um a thousand almost 1,800 for the past seven days, net profit close to 11,000, a little shy from that. And for as of last year, the numbers were a little bit over a million dollars in sales and 420,000 in net profit. I do stress this enough when selling on Amazon is that you wanna focus on your net profit margin. So you can see here, the profit margin is 34% after all fees, Amazon fees, shipping fees, um, everything, all the fees, you want to have that margin at 35% or higher. That's what you want to aim for. That's going to allow you to grow that Amazon business and let you scale it and grow it year by year. And it's going to give you a healthy cash flow for your business. And this is how I was able to really grow my Amazon business about 50 to 100% every year and honestly these numbers are amazing but it didn't start out like this like I've, i'm on my fifth year of selling on amazon and i really really took the initiative to learn the whole process when i first started and after about five years now the whole process is a piece of cake i work about an hour or two a day at most on my amazon business and this year i'm really focusing on making videos for you guys to teach you guys as much as possible of how you can do the same exact thing the first year it's really intimidating learning the whole process i promise you if you stick with it this is going to be a piece of cake for you so helium 10 is a tool that i really recommend you to get if you're selling on amazon or planning to sell on amazon this is how you're going to get that product research and find the right product to start selling on amazon after you get Helium 10, you would use Blackbox to find that right product to start selling on Amazon. So when selling on Amazon, you want the three things to fall under these three rules, especially when selling products online, is that I like to sell products that are over $15. That way, our net margin is above 35% because you want to really make sure that you're making a good profit when selling on Amazon. So make sure you sell products that are $15 or more. The second thing that I recommend you to do is sell products that are in a low competition field and have high search volume. So with this product research tool, we're gonna to show you guys exactly how to do that to find the low competition and high search volume where even small sellers can make a good amount of money. And the third thing you wanna do is make sure it's a small and light product. I personally don't sell products that weigh over three pounds because shipping costs from China to Amazon's warehouse. And when a customer buys your product, the shipping cost for sending it to the customer is gonna be high as well. So make sure it's under three pounds. It's over $15 in uh, the product is selling over $15 and it's in a low competition and high search volume field. This is These are the three things that I really, really recommend you to do that fall under your product criteria when finding a product to start selling on Amazon. So we have here black box. And what I like to do is I like to click appliances, arts and craft. These are the categories that I'm okay with selling in. Baby products is a really good one. Beauty, personal care. I'm going to stay away from books. 
from camera and photos, CDs and vinyls, I must stay away from that. Cell phones, I would stay away from. Um, cell phone accessories, things like that. Electronics, clothing, or something that I would not recommend you to do because, of course, clothing, you need a lot of variation, so you need a lot of capital. And I would stay away from that. And for electronics, it's evolving every year. So that's also something you want to stay away from. We're going to put house, health and household, kitchen, home and kitchen is okay. Kitchen and dining is a good one. Office products as well. Patio, pet supplies. These are the categories that I recommend you to get into. So you're going to put for sellers one and one. That's going to be one seller for this listing. That's like selling like you and me like that shipping size we're going to put small and large standard because we want to stick with something small weight size at max three pounds and price we're going to put 15 dollars minimum for monthly revenue you can play around with this you can put i usually put 4500 but for this example let's look for a product that's making a lot of money so seven thousand in minimum in monthly sales and let's put in reviews a review count at max a thousand reviews now let's click search so you can see here it gave us a list of products that fall under all those filters that we have and we're going to just click a few of them so this person selling yarn a dui kit and you can see here they're selling for $16, which like I said, I recommend $15 or more. It's a small and light product as well. The profit margin for this is probably a little bit over 35% because it's yarn. You could probably get this unit for around, I would say 50 cents to, yeah, I would say around 50 cents to 60 cents. And with helium 10, and with helium 10, you're also allowed to get this um, extension. So you're just going to, click it here and we're going to be able to see more of the data for this so x-ray so you can see here they're making a little bit close to 400 sales every month selling yarn DUI kits you can see here on their sales how much they're selling on average every day and then you can see the revenue they're making six thousand dollars in revenue every month this is something that you could get into because it only has 24 reviews. This is crazy. Like this is a product idea. This is just one of the many products that you can sell on Amazon and make decent, good money. So we can keep scrolling. This is just the first idea, but you can keep going with this. There's so many categories that you can pick from. This is how you can actually grow your Amazon business, finding those right products which are selling on Amazon. And after that, you're going to find out how you're going to get ranked on that first page of Amazon. So what you want to do for this, I'm going to give you guys a great example right now. So how are we going to rank on that first page of Amazon and start selling full time? All right. So I'm going to show you guys a great example here. This is Lash Extension Glue. And like this is something that I would prefer to start selling on Amazon because it falls under all the criteria, like the yarn. It's small and light, it's selling over $15, and it's a low competition and high search value field. So how would you get a product like this on the first page? Let's say this is our product. How would we get it on the first page? Well, with Helium 10, you're able to use a tool, and the tool that I like to use is Cerebro. So the main tools that I use for Helium 10 are Blackbox, Cerebro, and Keyword Tracker. All the other ones are pretty good, but these are like my go-to. If I'm trying to, you know, grow my Amazon business, these are mainly the tools that I use. And then from there I can, you know, do market tracker. But for the most part, I would say 90% of the tools that you need are these three. So you're gonna go Cerebro. And what Cerebro does is that you're able to get even the, the data from your competitors. And you can even find out how you're gonna get on that first page of Amazon. So let's say this, this could either be, let's say this is our competition, right? We're going to copy the ASIN. The ASIN is above here, or it's usually in the below down here on the listing. It's going to say ASIN. Just co copy this and we're going to go Cerebro and we're going to paste this really quick here. And we're going to get keywords. 
So let's say for this listing, we are trying to get um, eyelash extension glue. Let's say we're trying to get, we're trying to rank on the first page for eyelash extension glue. So we're gonna go Cerebro here. Let's put high risk filter through the high search and we're gonna find eyelash extension glue. Let's say we're trying to rank for this one. This keyword gets searched 14,000 searches every day. And you're gonna go and look for the CPR. The CPR is the number you need in order to get on that first page. So the CPR is the number of units you have to sell within eight days to average on that first page. So you can see here, the, you're gonna go here. You can see here, it's 49 units to get on that first page of Amazon. This is a really good metric to, this is a really, really good tool to you should really focus on because we always wanna be on that first page of Amazon when selling Amazon products. It's extremely important. This is how you're gonna grow your Amazon business. If you're not on the first page, your, your business is probably gonna miss out. You're gonna start thinking Amazon isn't the right thing to do and all that. So make sure the CPR is something that you can manage. I personally like to see a CPR, anything 100 or less, to know I could get on that first page of Amazon because if it's over 100, it's a little bit harder. But I feel like, if the profit margin is right, then, you know, CPR isn't something to go crazy over. But CPR, and how would you get 49 sales for this exact keyword? You probably do manual um, Amazon ads really aggressively to get on that first page of Amazon. Amazon advertising, I teach you guys that on another video. But this is the tool that you need to know to get on that first page and to see if the product that you're trying to sell on Amazon is the right thing to do or not. So CPR is something extremely, extremely important. So I'm gonna just show you guys an example of how and why the CPR is so good. So 49 units, right? So let's say this is our competitor and we only need 49 units to get on that first page of Amazon. Let's use this helium 10 tool to see how much they're actually making on amazon and to see if it's even worth selling lash glue so this is our competition so we're going to get some basic information of this and we're going to see how much they're making and if it's worth getting on that first page of amazon with those 49 sales and what to do so we're going to use that x-ray let's say this is our competition right you can see our competition that's on the first page of Amazon is making 4,300 sales every month selling on Amazon. You can click here on the sale graph. You can see on average how much you're selling every day selling lash glue. And it's a lot of money. You can see they're making a, a little bit under 100,000 a month selling lash glue. I'm telling you, this company makes over a million dollars in profit every year selling lash extension glue. Something that anybody can do. You just need to find a very high quality supplier from China, maybe for lash glue, you need a supplier from uh, Korea. So you would have to do your due diligence with that and find the right supplier for you. But you would find it on alibaba.com, filter through a bunch of suppliers, ask for samples, ask for the PDF catalogs, go through them. I teach you guys how to find a wholesale supplier as well in my other videos, but do your due diligence and find those suppliers that have this exact thing that you're looking for. You can probably get this product for around, I would say $2 to 250 on alibaba.com and something that you can grow a long-term business on. And so product research is such an important thing when selling on Amazon. And so is knowing if you could actually get on that first page of Amazon. These two tools are something Helium 10 has. And if you're trying to really focus on growing an Amazon business and making it a full-time living, you need a tool like this. Like I'm not even honestly, like if I didn't have this software, I would be in the blind and not be able to scale my business as I have in the past. So yeah. Definitely check that out. Helium 10 is the go-to when doing product research and finding out if you get it on that first page or not.
If you have any questions about this whole video, leave a comment down below, or you can also reach out to me on social media, Shady Z, I'll put it up here somewhere. And yeah, that's about it, guys. Make sure to subscribe to learn more about Amazon FBA. And if you don't have Helium 10, use the link down below to get a discount code. That way you can get it a lot cheaper. And that's about it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.